Hey guys, your boy Mark back with another video. 26 August 2024. I just watched Beverly Hills Cop XLF, the fourth film, long awaited film in the Beverly Hills Cop franchise. I gotta tell you the truth. I've never seen any Beverly Hills Cop film before until this one right here. Since it's the new release, Beverly Hills Cop XLF. So obviously, I don't have. Nostalgia for this franchise or anything like that. I am excited to watch those first three films eventually, because especially because they're all on Netflix right now. But um, yeah um, nope. But yeah, I gotta tell you guys the truth. Um. I missed a good chunk of this movie. I know it's on Netflix, but there's only about 30-something minutes until midnight. I, uh, I, like, right about maybe 20 minutes in is when I started to, uh, um, make myself some toast, eat that toast, and I watched the rest of the movie. And then I fell asleep. I literally just woke up. But thankfully I put my phone on the charger for a bit. Before I did. Because now it's on 40 something. And it was on like 2% when I put it on. Bad Wheels Cup X left. As someone who hasn't you know seen. Any Beverly Hills Cup film before. This was a fun movie. For what it was. <clears throat> I know I've been saying this a lot. I haven't seen many. Um, you know, movies this year. I probably would just like this as my second favorite uh, film of 2024 so far from what I've seen. And I haven't seen many of the blockbusters yet. Like 1, 2, like Bad Boys 4, Deadpool, Wolverine, etc. But, um, yeah, um, if the, if the whole franchise is like this, like the, f the first three films, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this series, man. And crazy that the first Beverly was Cop, 40 years old now. And 2024, 40 years later, we got the new one. I wasn't even born when the first one came out. I wasn't even born until any of the first three came out, actually. But, um, I, I did watch the trailer... I can't remember what stuff is a spoiler though, you know, um, but this film, he basically tries to help his daughter uh, out of a horrible situation, he gets up all on the business, and they're strange and all that, and you the, actually, I really enjoyed Joseph Gordon-Levitt in this movie, um, Especially near the end, a scene involving a helicopter. That was crack up, man. But, uh... Yeah, it, it's definitely, like... I can't say, you know, from my experience, if this is, like, what you'd expect from a Beverly Hills Cop film. It probably is. It looks like it had a lot of callbacks to stuff from the... I assume, first movie. I don't know if there's any callbacks to 2 and 3. But, um, this is a fun movie for what it is. And, um, even though I didn't quite catch all of it because I fell asleep and, well, near the end I fell asleep in, but near, at the start I went to get some toast. Um, but yeah. I don't know what to say. Fun movie, check it out. And, uh, I'm sure I'll have a proper fuller understanding of this movie and franchise after watching the first three not that i'm going to review this again but yeah but yeah beverly hills cop max left i enjoyed it for what it was it didn't seem like you had to watch the first three to be able to understand this like legacy sequels especially if they take place like 40 years later you probably can you know, watch them without having seen the originals. Alright. 
All right, boy, Mark. Peace out, y'all. Have a good one.